In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious goat sausage. Now that's going to be some good sausage. You want some? Maybe you're a vegetarian. I don't have a lot, but I have some basil here that I grew myself. I have a little bit of sage I grew. And I guess that's probably... Oh, I got some parsley here. We could mix the parsley, basil, sage together. But I these are just from my garden. Smells really nice. So that's that's parsley. There's not a lot, like I said, but it's hey, it's something that came from the garden. And uh, there will be a lot more next time. So here's basil. Um, then I have a mixture of. Um, seasonings that I'll put in there. Some herbs, some seasoning, kind of like uh, garlic, um, onion salt, and some garlic powder, and these basically, as well as an herb mixture that I bought. And uh, we'll be making some breakfast sausage. I have an old hand grinder here that looks like it would probably be pretty nice for making a sausage. So I'm going to clean this out real fast, and then I got to figure out how I'm going to set it up, and we'll just feed in the pieces of meat. We're going to keep the meat cold uh, so that the fat doesn't render because you want the fat mixed in with the meat, uh, you know, to make a really delicious sausage. Can't find my other knife right this moment, so I'm just going to use this knife. to. Uh, I'm just going to slice up some strips to put into the grinder. pieces sitting right here they're nice and cold so the fat won't render oh <laughs> I got a piece of ice there that I don't want okay so uh, goat meat doesn't have a lot of fat on it, like not nearly as much as pork. And so I'm not going to cut all the fat away. It's actually kind of desirable to have some of that in the sausage. I wonder if this piece is... I've never used this grinder, so I'm just going to give it a try here. My countertop is just way too thick. Uh, to put this grinder so I put it over here on this side and we're just going to throw a few pieces in there Oh, it's a little close to the camera I think we're going to have to do more before I can <laughs> see for sure I'm going to try a large piece here see what happens Might not be able to get the whole thing in there. Oh, it works. It's just too diff. It's just too difficult. I'm gonna yank the thing off. going to be some good sausage. Got a lot to cut up though so I'm going to cut a bunch of this up and get grinding and I'll, I'll fill that pan up and then I'll move it over and once I have the full batch which is going to be a lot uh, then we'll mix in seasoning. You know what there's there's going to be so much that I'm just going to take this I lined some plastic in this kind of a shelf and I'm just going to fill that up until, until we're ready. I yielded seven pounds 
for myself and about three more pounds for the dogs. This, these are just pieces I found less desirable. I just dumped all of my herbs that I grew myself on the top and then I'm going to grab some more ingredients to make this sausage. Got a couple kitty cats that are following me around today. Um, I really like this smoky roasted garlic and onion seasoning so I'm going to put a lot of that in it. I'll add a little of this seasoning salt just to make up for the difference because I you know, I don't have a ton. Garlic powder, just some of it, because this already has some garlic. Um, this is crushed herbs. So basically what I put on it already, but store-bought. And then I'll do a little black powder and a little extra salt. I forgot to mention, I'm going to do three teaspoons of uh, ginger powder. This is organic ginger powder. And uh, remember, I have seven pounds here. I'm going to add about three uh, teaspoons of herb seasoning, including what I've already added. Okay, I'm gonna do three teaspoons of ground black pepper. So between the uh, the seasoning I have, the garlic powder and seasoning salt, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of each of those in addition. <laughs> These cats, they need they need some attention. Oh, that's probably good. I'm actually I'm not going to add any extra salt because I oh. This guy needs to be opened, so I will. I'll just do salt instead of that. Just a little bit. So finally, I'm going to mix this all together, and then I'm going to put it back into the freezer tonight because I know it's not going to freeze because I've got so much meat. It's just, it's going to get close. Um, so I'll mix it really good. I'll let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow I can just make a bunch of patties and then freeze them. Do you guys think these kitty cats would like some hamburger? Oh, did you smell it? <laughs> Am I a good chef? Do you want some? Maybe you're a vegetarian. I made 27 four ounce patties. I'm gonna vacuum seal them and knowing it's going to take about 20 hours for them to freeze, you know, the seasoning will have time to kind of set in. One down. I'm making sausage and eggs, and it smells delicious. I've never had goat sausage or goat at all. Moment of truth. I've never had goat in my life. Uh, this is my buck goat, so he's supposed to have, it's supposed to taste musky or not as good as uh, a weather. And, uh, well, we're gonna find out. This is sausage I made uh, this morning. It doesn't have a funny taste at all. <laughs> oh, you guys on the internet. I get it. I get it. It could potentially, but it doesn't taste funny or bad in any way, shape, or form. It's delicious sausage. I'm actually really impressed. I've never made sausage before. <clears throat> These are my eggs, by the way. So this is a meal that I... Most of this is grown here even the seasoning a, a nice chunk of the herbs in it um if anything i could have added i was afraid to add too much seasoning i could have added a little bit but i guess that gives you room to throw some tabasco sauce on top 
it tastes like sausage, which is really awesome. Goat meat that I grew here on my own homestead. I am definitely on the path to sustainability. It's just what you'd expect it to be, you know? Some over medium eggs and, and some sausage. And some kitty cats. I told everybody, I put the word out that I needed some cats because they keep the mice away and, well, I got a couple kitties. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you got any questions, leave a comment below and, uh, well, I'll catch you guys on the next one.